My name is Adolfo Jurala. Uh, my medium is acrylics and mixed media on canvas or panels. Art actually found me. I never really was interested in the arts or didn't know what a canvas was, what acrylics were. You know, being born in Cuba in 19, the 70s, it's pure, pure communism there. And uh, so, th you know, there was no art, anything like that. I remember spending most of my time uh, at the beach and playing and, you know, but not until later on in my life when I was working repairing computers and I was doing this job already for quite some time that I started thinking, well, what should I do next? Uh, and so in my spare time, I started painting little uh, pots and instant holders and stuff like that. And I guess that was an introduction to art to me. And so from there, from there I started painting, you know, uh, somebody told me about canvas and I didn't even know what that was. So it was a self-discovery, basically. All I know is that I love what I do and I'm very committed to creating the best possible art I can produce, you know? And uh, so that part of my job, that which is about exploration, it's really what fascinates me to this day. I mean, I've been painting, I've been now full time since 2000 and I have never worked so much in my life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my process is just basically exp uh, just having fun in a way, uh, but not having fun in the sense of like, you know, like we think out there, but more, more of like exploring, you know, like trying to figure out what this would do, what would that do. Uh, so it's an exploration of something that I've never done before. You know, so each piece has its own unique, you know, thing going. You know, there's no secret. There are no secrets out there. It's just a matter of, you know, working with what you have. You know, being there in the moment. I uh, I love blues. Blues are really my favorite colors. Uh, although, you know, when I come to Arizona things changed for me because then I'm in the desert and I get very influenced by my surroundings. So I start painting more greens and orange, you know, stuff like that. And then when I go back home, which is California, I then start working more, more with blues. I don't know, but I don't really have a lot of blues here in a way. I mean, I used to have a lot more blues in my setup, but yeah, it's kind of fun to, you know, be able to come here, exp get energized by the desert, you know, which is beautiful. And has amazing soft colors. And then going back home and being influenced by the blues. Well, as I said, I don't even know how I made it here. <laughs> so even to think what will happen in the future, you know, I'm just grateful that I'm able to produce right now. I have this opportunity, you know, I, Time goes very fast, so I try to really cite, cite the moment, you know, because this will not come again. And God knows when I go back home after the show, for example, you know, I, you know, I might not have the same opportunity that I have here to create. So, you know, it's just live day by day and let just things unfold as, as they should. Well, there are many things that makes this place very special. For once is the, the, you know, the, you get to come and work with other people that have the same kind of set mind you have, are professional, are committed about their work. So you are surrounded with that energy that is really incredible when it comes to you creating your own work because, you know, you just feel part of this incredible movement, you know? Um, and then um, the people, you know, the owners that run the show, they're incredibly supportive, very nice. And, uh, you know, we want to do good for them. They wanted us to do well. So it's a good family thing, very, very good. It's not an easy show to do. Don't think it's easy. It's, 
it's very complex and it's not just about creating artwork here or you know even communicating with your people that walk, walk by but it's also working with your inner thoughts and what's going on you know coming every day here you know um, you just have to be cheerful and you know so you have to continually be fine-tuning yourself so it's pretty incredible because it makes you a better human being basically you know yeah better artist better human being